a story called The Harrowing Story of Canberra's Television Industry. Pieced together from scraps of half-erased videotape. Police snapshots. Secret television station files. Scraps from the boardroom and completely unfounded rumors. It is the bloody saga of a small band of sensitive pioneers fighting against overwhelming odds in an implacably hostile environment. Despite their many wounds and their growing paranoia, the little house buzzed with creative ideas. Every time their leader sent them out to bring joy to the station, they were ambushed. the destruction of young Christopher Weird, whose ambitions fell away like so many strands of hair. See the lovely Karen Gregarious, left out in the cold with her back turned and her pants down. And the overconfident Cecil B. De Burles, whose pioneering spirit was dealt a fatal blow by an overdose of country music and an orgy of picture hanging by the weight of the huge knickers and the charismatic rusty gorgon who some saw as a media messiah brought to his knees by the corporate red tape sometimes they believed a breakthrough had happened just another mirage in the wilderness. The great white father in the West remained silent until at last, sadly, their suffering ended. They had died of underexposure. You'll laugh, you'll cry. But you'll never forget the pathos of human suffering in the little house in the wilderness. They certainly won't. Nothing really changes. Now, all that matters is what comes out of that 26-inch idiot box. That's this year's Australian Capital Blues. From all of us, good night. Well, just about time to say goodnight. We trust that you've enjoyed the programs. If you haven't, tough. A lover, capital seven, a land of staff ceilings. No overtime or penalties. They think we've got no feelings. I dream of far horizons. There's always the ABC. The beauty and the terror. It's a night. To me, a nightmare to me, a nightmare, core of my being, my station, place of the mental mold, with sales accounts and operations, Stokes pays us back threefold, and when staff cutbacks happen, we can curse again, 
the economic recession and deserve financial gain. I love supplementary licenses and other great big plans of expansion and promotion and drooling viewing fans. I love her advertising. I love her good reception. Her management and programming are beyond Perception. A nightmare to me. A nightmare. Some people left the country and flew to Japan. All of you who have not loved them raised your heads from the sand. Though New Year holds many terrors, Christmas presents we did buy from Pacific Films and PGF. But our wages don't comply. I love a Christmas bonus, a reward for aches and pains. Her OB vans and camera crews and all of her big names. I love the canteen cooking. I love those cups of tea. The mystery and excitement that will John Fairfax. Motine mentholated. Deadly to dogs. Extra kind to insects.